Now in today's video I'm going to show you one of my favourite cake toppers to make for a children's cake. I'm going to show you how to make Postman Pat. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so what we're going to need to make Postman Pat is our gum paste. I've got um, this blue colour for his clothes and his hat and this was made just by mixing royal blue and some navy blue together. Um, I've got the flesh tone one for his face and his hands and this was just ivory and a little bit of pink in there. I've got some white and some black and then this one is for his hair so that was just a mixture of some chestnut brown and some orange. I've got some cutting tools, um, edible glue, um, a rolling pin, some tools, a little piece of wire and some wire tools, a skewer and a cake dummy so that we can put that in to hold him up while we make him. And then I've just got some shapes just for cutting out. Okay, so first of all, we're just gonna take the flesh tone um, gum paste and we're gonna start with his head. So we're just gonna roll that out so it's in kind of a sausage shape. And we need the end to be quite rounded because that's gonna be his chin. Okay, so once we've rolled that out, we're gonna cut that so it's about an inch and a half long. Now what we're gonna do is just make his nose. So we're just gonna do exactly the same, but just on a smaller scale. So we're just gonna roll like a sausage shape. So that one's a lot smaller. And we're just gonna chop that about a centimeter up. So we're gonna take out edible glue and we're just gonna pop that to the back. We want it just up so it's about a third of the way up. Taking a cocktail stick, we're just gonna mark in where his mouth is gonna be. So just underneath where his nose is, we're just gonna create rounded indent. Now before we fill that in, we're gonna work um, just on his ears. So I'm gonna take a bit of the flesh colored gum paste again and we want about a pea sized ball and then I'm just going to push down on that just to flatten it and we're going to cut that in half and then just flatten off the edges. Now we're going to take a bottle and just using the smaller end of it we're just going to push in to the middle to create the dip in his ear. Now do that for both of them put those onto the side of his face, just level with his nose. That. Okay, so here I've got the black gum paste. So to start with, we're just gonna take a really tiny piece of that, and then we're just gonna roll that out until it's really thin um, to put into his mouth. So when that's really thin, just cut a piece of that off, and we're just gonna add a little tiny piece of edible glue into the, that shape that we made for his mouth. Just trim that off in the right place. And then we're gonna take some of the white gum paste that we've got here, just roll that out till it's quite thin. I've got here just this little tube, which is about half a centimeter across. Now, what you'll notice in this video is that I collect things um, that are different sizes just to use um, as different shapes to cut things out. So if you didn't have something like this, you could just roll a ball and flatten it out for his eyes. I'm just gonna cut two of those out. And then we're just gonna glue those onto his face, just halfway between the top of his head and where his nose is. And then using some of the black, we're just gonna make the pupils in his eyes. And then I've got here a number four piping tip, which I'm just gonna cut two pupils. So there we have him so far. So I'm just gonna take some of this blue gum paste that we've got here, take some of your blue, and we just wanna roll that into a ball and flatten that. So you want it no taller than about half a centimeter. And what we're looking for is it just to be slightly bigger than his head. And then just work that way around in your fingers just to flatten off those sides. And then what we wanna do is just push down on the back slightly because we want the front slightly taller than the back. So we're just gonna take some of that black gum paste. There we go. So what I've got here is just 
the lid of a pot um, so this one is about an inch across so I'm just going to cut out there now what we want is to create the shape of his peak so I'm just going to lay that on top like that um, and then we're just going to cut the edges off and then we're just going to cut that in half and just taper in those sides and then once we have that shape we're just going to pop a little bit of edible glue onto the back of that and then finding the front of his cat just stick that down so it's just peeking out of the front and we're just going to roll that out so it's about three four millimeters thick and then what i'm going to do is take some of the cling film that i had wrapped the gum paste in and just lay that over the top then i'm going to take the cutter that i used before and i'm just going to push that into the gum paste now what that's going to do if you can see is make the edges of the top of the cap rounded and then we're just going to add some edible glue on to the top of that and then glue the top of the hat onto that so we have his little hat there and then just push that in place okay so next we're going to work on his head we're just going to create loads of tiny little balls roll those in the palm of your hand okay so now we've got all our little balls what we're going to do is just take our post and pat head and we're going to start at the back so we're just going to apply some edible glue to the back of his head now we want to go across with the balls probably about a third down from his ears just straight across and then i'm just going to use a toothpick and starting from the back adding those in go around his face just to where his ears are and then maybe add a top one just in front of his ear as a sideburn so keep building those up and then what we're also going to do is use some of these extra ones We've got different layers and it's also going to cover a lot of the holes so you can't see any of the skin color okay so now we've got his hair on okay so the next thing we're going to work on is his glasses so first of all what we're going to do is leave a length of the metal there and then we're just going to wrap the piece of wire around the dowel and that's going to create the first eye hole at the side of that we're then just going to bend the wire around so it's at a 90 degree angle and then post and always has um kind of a little lump in his glasses here so what we're going to do is just bend that up slightly bend that up create that kind of dip and then we're going to create the second eye hole here so we're just going to place that on again and just wind that around the piece of dowel so we've got his two glasses there and then just bend that corner so you just want to have a play around with the piece of wire until you get the shape that we're looking for so taking your person pat head we then just want to push the glasses between the hair so they're sitting on top of his ears so to finish off his head what i'm going to do is we've got some edible floral dust here so i'm just gonna pop a tiny piece on just where his cheeks would be Okay, so to work on his body, I've just got some of the blue gum paste. So we're just gonna push that around so it's kind of a flat rectangle shape. Now the top of his body is about the same length as his head. And then we're gonna just chop the bottom off and then chop the top off. And then we're just gonna taper down slightly because that is where his arms are gonna go. And then using a larger bottle, what I'm going to do is just push into the bottom and then just work my fingers around just because we want to create um, like the flat part of the bottom of his jacket and that will sit over the top of his trousers. 
And then in the top, we're just gonna push that in again because that's where we want his neck to sit. Okay, so what I've got here is some of the white gum paste. And then we're gonna create a triangle, which we're gonna glue down. And that's just gonna be his shirt. So we're just gonna put a dent down there and then just push up from the bottom. Okay, so for his shirt colour, we've cut out these two identical um, kind of elongated triangles. But first of all, we're going to add his tie. So we're just going to cut a straight line across from that. And then a triangle shape, but that doesn't meet at the end. And then start doing a triangle shape the other way. So we're just going to lay that onto the white from the top and then just trim that down into a point so it sits over the top of the white for the shirt. Put a piece of glue just around the neckline and then these are going to pop on from the centre of the tie and just fold over to make his two collars. Now we can trim those off because we're going to have the collar of his jacket coming round. To create the collar of his jacket, what we're going to do is we're just going to roll this blue gum paste out so it's quite thin and quite long. We just need a straight line to start with. And then the first part is going to be to cut out like that. Then we want to go in so it's a tiny little triangle. And then we're going to bring that around so it's in a curve. So this is the back collar on his coat. Work out kind of where you want it to start so that you can trim it down. And then with this bit, so from the point that you've come across here, we actually want to turn that over and that's going to create the collar on the back of his coat. So we're going to stick that half down. And then just bring that round. And then what we want to do is create the same shape on the other side. And then just have a play around until they match. And for the pockets that go on the front of his coat, create just some rectangles. And then I'm just gonna use my craft knife and just tap those on those corners, just to round those off slightly. And then work out how big you want your pockets to be. So I guess ours are gonna be around there. And then half the size again, so cut those down and then again just round off those corners. Just take some edible glue and just along the top, just run that along and then just put a tiny indent with your craft knife. We don't want to cut through and then just fold that top over and that is going to create two little pockets so edible glue and then just attach and we're going to create two tiny little balls add some edible glue onto the front of his jacket and then where we place those down i'm just going to take the small ball tool and just push those into place and they are going to be the buttons of his jacket and then the next thing that we want to do is add his head back on before we put his arms back on. So what I've done, so we've got his head here. So I'm just going to trim down and then I'm going to push that stick all the way through his body, right in the centre. And I'm just going to place that into our polystyrene and add some edible glue inside that neck piece of his jacket. And then we're going to take his head and where we've got the hole from before, we're just going to push that back in. So there we've got his head on his body. So I'm going to take some of the blue that we used for his jacket and we're just going to roll that into thin snake-like tubes. And then we're going to 
cut that in half for two different arms and I'm going to cut the ends off as well so just make sure they're the right length I'm going to cut down the tops of both of them and that's going to be his shoulder so we're just going to take those and just round those off and then at the bottom we're going to take our ball tool again and I'm just going to push into the end of those and then with my fingers I'm just going to run round and I'm going to do that for both of them and then halfway down we're just going to push like a V shape into those which is going to allow for that bend so we're going to stick those on so they just go on his jacket there Okay, so now I've got some of the skin coloured gum paste again and we're just going to create his hands. So I'm just going to take a ball of that, just flatten it down in my hand and just push on the side so it becomes a bit longer. And then I'm going to cut that in half. And then what we're going to do is just give him some fingers. So we're going to cut into one of those and then cut down. So we've cut a little triangle out and that creates his thumb. And then we're just going to cut into these ones to give him his three fingers. I'm going to add some edible glue inside those armholes and just add his hands in there. We've got some of the blue gum paste here and very similar to how we did the jacket. We're just going to push that into a rectangle shape and we need those to go inside that lip of the jacket so I'm just going to chop the bottoms off there and then cut those until it's about an inch square I'm going to draw a line up the centre like so and then again the same as we did um, for the top I'm just going to push the ball tool into the bottom of each of those so we've got a dip there and then I'm just going to run my fingers around and we just want it to look like we've separated the trousers. I'm just going to go in, push into those, it looks like kind of ruffles and then just at the top I'm just going to put the V there. Okay so to create these shoes what we're going to do is take some of the black we had left. Okay so on each of those shoes I'm just going to take the back of the craft knife and just run that along the front. Now you might want to push up the front of his trousers and then taking his shoes with the sole on the bottom we're just going to push those into place and one there and then just push those down until you know they're sitting flat we're going to take our post and pan what i'm going to do is just trim down the stick slightly so if we work out kind of where his trousers are going to be and how long um, a piece of length that you want to leave to actually attach into your cake and then I'm going to add some edible glue onto the top of those. And I'm going to take Post and Pat and just in the centre of his trousers, I'm just going to push down. So I've pushed all the pieces together. So to finish him off, what I'm going to do is just take some of the white that we were using and I'm just going to cut out two rectangle shapes. And then just using my craft knife, um, I'm just going to make a triangle at the top of one of them and then at the bottom from the corner going up to meet the triangle just do another little line in there take the first one and then just sit that where his arm is like that and then add the second one in okay so what I've done now is just mix some gold luster dust with some um, alcohol and I'm just colouring in the buttons on his jacket just to make those gold and then what I'm going to do is just finish off on his hat I'm just going to paint in the logo of the mail service that he works for so that's painted in and there we have our postman pack cake topper I really hope you enjoyed this video tutorial and that you enjoy making your own postman pack cake topper. If you did like this video then please give it a like and if you'd like to see more of my video tutorials then please click subscribe.